Hello everybody, it's Phoenix Arc, and today I'd like to show you my latest creation, ARC Studio. It's designed after PCK Studio, however it's made specifically for ARC files. It's never been easier. All you need to do is, we'll just go ahead and head on into Minecraft. We'll find the ARC file. And just like that, you have your ARC file opened up. Now, if you want to edit, like say you want to replace this image, easy. You just go to this. Uh, that one is the. We'll just go ahead and change that to the menu. Let's go ahead and click on anything else, and there you go. You can also save it like that, but we will just keep going. You want to edit the splashes. Every, everything is in. Uh, alphabetic order, by the way, but yeah, you want to edit the splashes, you can go ahead. Anytime you edit it, it'll go ahead and update it, so you don't even have to save it after that, you can just keep going. Let's say you want to edit the LOC files, the languages, super easy. Let's go ahead and Let's say you already know the number you're going to, so let's go ahead and type something random in, 427. Go to that, and there you go. Of course, uh, you'd have to know the number beforehand, but after you do, it's pretty easy. We'll go ahead and close that. Oh, actually, this is important. Um, I haven't gotten auto-saving ready yet for this, so you do have to save it manually, but... Uh, and it'll be fine. You want to edit the structures. These are actually just NBT data that you can just go ahead and open. Let's say you want to edit this to change snow to, let's say, diamond block. And after you save that, you can go ahead and exit out of that. It'll be fine. Now, let's go ahead and... Mm, what's a good one to load up? You can really just edit FUI files as well with the same method. Uh, let's go ahead and UI component. Double click on that. You can open it up. You can see all of the images within it. Oh, yeah, this is actually important. Every time that you edit an FUI file, don't directly close the program. You have to actually close it like that so that it'll clear out the temporary data. That's from the last load up. We can just go ahead and click on that again. Marketing guide. UI component, I guess, didn't have any images. But, um,. You can go ahead and debug menu 720. Ooh, or better yet, since I'm on the PS3, I can just go ahead and skin PS3. And I can see all of the images. Now the display isn't perfect, however it is fairly close. You can still tell that says start on it. Where's the panorama view? It should be in here, I think. But anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, go ahead, you can go ahead and replace this with any file you want. I'm not going to. But I could, I could also extract it, extract that to the desktop. Wait, what is, what image is that? L1. And then if I go out to the desktop, there it is, L1.
Anyway, I think that just about does it for ARC Studio. So if you... Actually, you know what? This is a great opportunity to show you how the how that works. We'll just go ahead and select everything. Delete that. Random stuff. Go ahead and save that. Save. We can go ahead and exit out of it. And now we can go back into it. Find the ARC file again. Oh, wrong one. Go back down to splashes. And it's still there. Super easy to use. And actually, there's one more thing that I want to show off. Although it's not like populated yet because there's not really much to put in there if you've made an FUI file and you want to use that you can go ahead and this is just a test image and item but yeah you can go ahead and we can just go ahead and delete that because I already have it download that to the collection Ideally, this would be for multiple versions, but um, let's go ahead and get that. And just like that, you have your items. Now, on top of that, you also have the original file name tacked on. So, the, uh, its original name would be skinps3.fui. Now, this is also available for LOC files and NBT files. NBT files being the structures. But yeah, you can also go ahead and submit it whenever if you want. But yeah. And Yeah, not everything, if it doesn't exist on the server, it'll give an error like that. Uh, but, yeah. Anyway, that just about does it. Program info. Yeah. And that works. So, that's all for today's video. The link for this will be down in the description. Speaking of, I should just go ahead and open a new tab. PCK Studio. Your one-stop shop for Minecraft console modding. The Apotheosis website. You can go ahead and go into the client area. You can edit MSS CMP files as well with the MSS CMP Studio which contains stuff like the sound that blocks make when you break them, the sounds of mobs, the sounds of blocks, like ambient water noises and stuff. But what we're interested in is ARC Studio. You just go ahead and download that right, right at the website. Actually, yeah. Just go ahead and click that, and you can download it as is. And that's about it link for this will also be down actually i'll just you can go ahead and download it from the website i'll go ahead and put the link in the description but that's all for today's video thank you all so much for watching hope to see you guys next time